Hello Nimitz families, Captain Lennox here talking to you from the Arabian Gulf. Uh, it is September 1st, which means this week marks the halfway point of deployment. Uh, that's a great kind of getting over the hump kind of feeling. We have more time behind us than we have left in front of us uh, on this deployment. And uh, if I could sum up this deployment in one word, I would say that word is success. Uh, it started right when we got underway on time, headed down to San Diego, and uh, I picked up the air wing and then pressed out uh, over to Hawaii. On the way to Hawaii, we did a uh, quick exercise demonstrating that we can sneak around the world if we need to. And you guys all probably remember that because we were pretty hard to get a hold of on email. But that was a big success. And then once we got to Hawaii, we uh, did what was essentially a steel cage match against some submarines. We jumped in a box with some submarines and uh, we tried to do our job without getting sunk by the submarines. And uh, that was a big success too. Uh, we were able to put the hurt on the submarines without them doing being able to do anything to us. Uh, once we were done there, it was time to head out past Hawaii into the real meat of our deployment. We headed over to Guam, through the Philippines, past Singapore and the Strait of Malacca, and then over to Chennai, India for our first port visit. That was a real eye-opener for, uh, for the crew. For a lot of them, it's their first deployment. It was their first time uh, getting a view of the ship at anchor. So we always go out through the stern dock, which is a little door near the water line on the back end of the ship. You step onto something we call the camel, which is essentially a flat barge there. And then it was a little sporty jumping onto the Liberty boats with everything moving there. But uh, we took our time, did it safely, and managed to get a lot of the crew ashore for their first taste of a foreign port visit. Uh, a lot of good stories coming back from there. A lot of people got that check in the block, that lifetime thing, uh, eating Indian food in India. I know I didn't have that one before, and uh, it was a lot of fun. We also had a lot of great uh, partnerships with the Japanese Navy and the Indian Navy. All right, once the port visit was over, we got underway for Exercise Malabar. That was some great work with the Japanese and the Indian Navy. Uh, we flew our planes together. Uh, right behind me, I watched an Indian MiG-29 do a low plat pass right over our flight deck, something I'd definitely never seen before. Uh, we practiced giving each other fuel, doing division tactics together, basically uh, put a lot of energy into our growing partnership with India and certainly reinforced our long-standing alliance with the country of Japan. Uh, once we were complete there, we got on to uh, the real part of deployment, which is to come up into the Arabian Gulf and, uh, and conduct ops right out here in the, uh, in the ocean behind me. Uh, we've been doing a couple things there, ensuring the free flow of commerce here in the Arabian Gulf, building partnerships with, uh, with our allies here in the region, and then putting the herd on ISIS. Every day we're launching jets off this flight deck, sending them up into, the, uh, up into Syria and up into Iraq, and, uh, and helping our allies there drive ISIS uh, out of the region. And that's going really well. Uh, one of the biggest challenges since we got up here has been the heat. Uh, we prepared a lot to come here. But uh, it's a level of hot that none of us have ever seen before. Sometimes on the flight deck, the heat index, which is the temperature plus the humidity, uh, the highest we've seen is 152 degrees. Today it's hovering kind of in the 130s, and there's a lot of challenges for personnel working on the flight deck, a lot of challenges keeping the jets working and the electronics working at their high level. And then you know down in the engineering plants, keeping the air conditioning working, keeping the, the machinery and the propulsion plant working with uh, the hot water coming in, because that Arabian Gulf water you're seeing out there is about 100 degrees. So that's the water we use to cool the ship. So through kind of a, an interesting mixture of uh, physics and alchemy, you can use 100 degree water to make the ship cool. Uh, and, and the engineers on board and the folks down in engineering have been doing an amazing job keeping all that stuff working. Uh, so a little while left, we still got some more work to do here in the Gulf. So we're gonna be here for uh, another month or two and uh, then we'll be heading on home to you. We've got some uh, good ports on the way home, um, and I don't want to make a promise that I can't keep, but I will say that I feel very confident that we're going to be home by Christmas, just like I said uh, when we got underway and played I'll Be Home by Christmas as we were pulling out of Remerton. Uh, so we're looking forward to doing the country's work here out in the Arabian Gulf, and we're looking forward to coming home to you all as soon as we can. Thanks.